You did that on purpose. Well, I didn't see you coming, Simmons. I thought you went back to turn off the blower. What are you grinning at? Nothing. Clap that off. Maybe the next time you'll have something to grin at. Anyone else got anything to say? Yes, I have. You've been bulldozing these men ever since you came on this job, Simmons. And I'm fed up with it. Now get your time and clear out. I don't want to see you around here anymore. That suits me fine, Mr. Warren. Good. All right, fellas, finish cleaning up. Wait a minute, you. I ain't had my say yet. No? Well, get it off your chest. What's more, when I'm talking, you're gonna stay right here till I finish. Get me? Take that dirty paw off my arm. And if I don't... Get out of this, you fellas. Now get off the lease. I'll get off when I'm good and ready. A little water now. When he comes to run him off the lease. So sure will, Dave. Great work, Chap. Great. What happened? Oh, Simmons was pulling some of his rough stuff again. Uh, he had it coming to him. Any mail, Jim? Gee, I forgot. It's a telegram for you. Boy, this is wonderful. Look, Farley's going to put up the money to finish the well. He wants you to come up and sign the contracts. Gosh, Dave, that's swell. <laughs> oh, boy, now your troubles are over. <laughs> and it is further agreed that the party of the second part shall be prohibited from borrowing any additional monies without the written consent of the party of the first part. Insert that clause in the middle of uh, paragraph seven. Is that all, Mr. Varley? Yeah. Uh, have those contracts made out as soon as possible. Yes. Miss Varley, what on earth has happened? I ripped the heel off my shoe getting out of the elevator. You should have seen me coming down the hall. Could I run downstairs and get it fixed for you? Will you? I'll look after the office while you're gone. Right. Oh, Miss Gray, how do you work this thing?
these are the trunk lines. When a call comes in, there's a light here and the buzzer sound. You plug in this way, see? And then you open this key, and then you're connected with a party calling. Oh, uh, how do I hang up and say no if an insurance salesman or book agent calls? <laughs> you just pull out the plug. This is a connection to your uncle's phone. If the call is for him, you plug in here and ring by pressing this key and setting it back in the same position. Like this? Oh, not now. Oh, what I do? Oh, excuse it, Mr. Varley. me, the operation is just reversed. You plug in the same way. Poor uncle. <laughs> He's due for an awful shock if I get excited and forget which plug goes where. I'll hurry right back. All right. Excuse me. Is Mr. Varley in? I believe he's expecting me. Whom shall I say is calling? Dave Warren. Oh. I beg your pardon. Uh, I got a shock. Born to see Mr. Varley. Yes, Mr. Varley. Very well, sir. Mr. Varley will see you in a few moments. Will you wait, Mr. Warren? Certainly. Won't you be seated? Thank you. Won't you look at a magazine? Must I? 
You're new on this job, aren't you? What makes you think that? That switchboard almost got you down a moment ago. I haven't plugged in a wrong number yet, have I? I apologize. You're new here yourself, aren't you? Now, how did you guess that? Easily. <laughs> then I don't act like a city slicker. No, of course not. <laughs> Come here. Look at your tie. I'll fix it. There. I've just been wondering what business you're in. I'm wildcatting. Wildcatting? Good heavens, I didn't know there were any wildcats in this country. <laughs> I'm prospecting for oil in an unproven field. I may strike a gusher, and again, it might be a duster. Duster? Feathers? No. That's a slang expression meaning a dry hole. If I strike oil, I'm an oil man. That's what brings me up here. You see, Mr. Varley's going to help me finance the completion of the well. Oh. Mr. Varley's a fine man. He must be, if you think so. Why? Well, I usually judge a man by what his health thinks of him. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, isn't that buzzer for you? Oh, I better be careful. I'll lose my job. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I think it's a dictograph. Dictograph? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Just press this lever here. Hello? Yes, Mr. Varley. Yes, sir. Mr. Varley, we'll see you now, Mr. Warren. Thank you. Hello, Warren. Glad to see you didn't waste any time getting here. I came up as soon as I received your wire, Mr. Varley. Sorry if I kept you waiting. I wanted to make sure these contracts were right. I didn't mind waiting at all, sir. Now, I'll just review the proposition briefly so we can be sure we understand each other. Uh, sit down. I am buying a one-third interest in your Oak Glen Basin oil lease for $25,000, right? I am loaning you another $25,000 for which you are giving me a mortgage on your two-thirds interest in the lease. That's the proposition exactly, sir. Good. And here are the contracts. While you read them over, I'll sign your checks. I guess this covers everything, Mr. Varley. I believe so. Oh, here. Here, use this one. Mm, thank you. Uh, here's the note for the $25,000 loan, made payable in 90 days. Right. But I expect to bring the well in long before this note falls due. <laughs> I hope you do. You're not taking any chances on that, Mr. Varley. I know there's oil there. So do I. At least I had that territory investigated and the reports were most favorable. <laughs> Here are your checks, $25,000 each. Thank you, sir. Good luck, my boy. Keep me posted. I'll do that with pleasure, Mr. Varley. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Say, I have an idea. If you should lose your job at any time, I come down to Oak Glen Basin and I'll give you one. Thank you, Mr. Warren. I'll remember that. But I don't know your name. It's uh, Alice. Mine's Dave. Forget the mister. All right, Dave. Goodbye, Alice. Goodbye, Dave. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, dear. Hmm. Talk about your bulls in a china shop. Now, now, is there any way to talk about a big oil man from the wide open spaces? He certainly is big enough. <laughs> How did you get along, Miss Barley? 
Oh, just fine. Oh, hello, Alice. Uh, put that note in the contract in the safe with the other papers in the Dave Warren file. Yeah. Uncle, you're working too hard. I wish you wouldn't spend so much time in the office. Alice, dear, these are not ordinary times. I'd like to be with you more. I realize that. But you must consider your health. Yes, I know. But I'm thinking of my responsibility to you and my obligations to others. But I'm through now for the day. <laughs> No one around. Warren will be over at the office. What are you doing around here, Simmons? None of your business. No? You had orders to keep away from this lease. Now get out of here before you run into trouble. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. Yeah? You came to the right place to get it. Now listen, punk. Get back into your cage where you belong, or I'll give you some of what your pal Warren's gonna get. That's okay with me, if you can do it. If I can do... Why are you... Are you hurt, Jim? Down, but not out, Dave. <laughs> Jim! Jim! Are you all right? Well, sure. I'm all right, Dave. I... <laughs> Tried to take in too much territory, I guess. What started it? Hmm? Oh. Simmons. He came after you, and I tried to head him off. Oh. So that was it, huh? Come on. Get you inside. No. Mr. Farley hasn't returned yet, and I haven't heard anything from him. Well, he expected to be back yesterday, and... Yes. Yes, I'll call it to Mr. Farley's attention just as soon as he returns. Yes, this is Mr. Varley's office. No, Mr. Varley hasn't returned yet. Uh, yes, yes, your statement is on Mr. Varley's desk now. Well, I haven't heard a word from him. Well, he expected to be back yesterday. Yes, very well, I'll tell him just as soon as he returns. Morning, Morrison. How have you been? Oh, Mr. Varley. I'm glad you're back, sir. What's the trouble? It's about International Consolidated. Yeah? What about it? Well, it hit the toboggan. You see, I was expecting you back yesterday. Yes, yes, I know. I should have been back yesterday. What happened? Well, your broker kept calling all day for instructions. And well, I didn't know what to do, thinking you might be back at any moment. And then just before the market closed, he sold you out. Hold out. Oh. 
How bad is it, Morrison? It's nearly a hundred thousand dollars, sir. Yeah. Here's the broker's statement. That makes close to 400,000 I've dropped. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's a, a report from Mr. Warren, sir. He says they're drilling in a very favorable formation. Well, that's better news, Marzo. When does that note of Warren's fall due? Well, I'm not sure of the exact date, but I can find out for you in a moment. Bring me that note and contract. I won't be long, Alice. How do you do? Can I help you? Well, that depends. You're Walker, aren't you? Why, yes. I thought so. Warren has often mentioned your name in his reports. Oh, then you're J.P. Varley. Mm-hmm. Just thought I'd stop by and see how the well was coming on. Oh, it's coming along great, Mr. Yeah. Varley. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'd better let Dave tell you about that. He's down at the well right now. I'll go down and get him. Oh, don't bother him. I imagine you can tell me as much about the well as he can. Surely, Mr. Varley. I'd be glad to, if you wish. Good. Won't you sit down? Thanks. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. How are you, Alice? <laughs> Say, you haven't lost your job, have you? Looks like that since I'm not in Mr. Varley's office anymore. That's too bad. I've been looking forward to seeing you again. You're seeing me now, aren't you? Yes. Oh, then you haven't a job for me down here. You bet I have. 
Now you can take care of the books. <laughs> Jim Walker would be tickled to death to get rid of that job. Oh, but it wouldn't be right to discharge anyone to give me a job. Discharge Jim? Not a chance. I couldn't drive him off this lease with a shotgun. He's no pal of mine. Takes more interest in the well than if he had his own money at stake. He must be a real friend. Oh, he certainly is. Come on, we'll put the proposition up to him. Oh, there you are, Warren. Glad to see you, my boy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, you've already met my niece. Uh, yes, uh, I met Mr. Warren in your office, Uncle. Huh? Yes. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I was just going down to look around the rig, Warren. I'll be glad to show you everything, Mr. Varley. Oh, no, you don't. I look around myself. Or at least, uh, Walker here can take me down. <laughs> I'll see it through my own eyes instead of somebody's rose-colored glasses. Oh, you'll find it plenty rosy, all right, no matter how you look at it. <laughs> I hope so. Come on, Walker. Yes, sir. So you're Miss Varley, hmm? Are you very angry? Of course not. It was fun, wasn't it? It sure was, Miss Varley. Not Miss Varley. Alice. If you want me to. I do. Then it's a bet. Now then, Dave. Suppose you show me around. I'd like to, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Everything appears to be going smoothly. We've had very little trouble, Mr. Farley. Trouble? Didn't know you had any. Oh, it wasn't much. We had to discharge one of the drillers. He was a troublemaker. Dave beat the tar out of him. Believe me, Mr. Farley, Dave's regular. Simmons deserved just what he got. Probably extends from that ridge up there, on down, oh, to the valley yonder, see? And on down the ravine about oh, a mile and a half. Pretty large, isn't it? Mm, about 1,500 acres. Look, I'll show you. Now, here's that tree up there, see? Mm -hmm. And this is the ravine that runs over there down into the valley, right over in here. And this is about a mile and a half, and the well is located right down this corner, right here. Right, George, I've got to get back to town and phone the office before the market closes. It won't take very long. It's only about 20 minutes into Porterville. This well means a lot to you, doesn't it, Dave? It certainly does. I suppose it sounds silly to you, though, talking the way I have about a mere hole in the ground. No, it doesn't. It all sounds very exciting and romantic the way you tell it. <laughs> it's more hard work than romance to it. Now, where has Alice gone? I don't know, but if you're in a hurry, Mr. Barley, you can go ahead. Dave and myself will see that your niece gets into town a little later. Good idea. Tell her I'll meet her at the hotel in town. Sorry to lead you this way, but it's quite important. It's all right, sir. I'll explain it to her. Well, I've talked enough about the well for one day. We'd better be getting back. <laughs> They'll think I've kidnapped you. I'd love it. Come on, come on. any help, thanks. I'm just changing the tire. Maybe you can help me. I'd like to talk to you a moment. Are you acquainted back here at the Oak Glen Basin Oil Well? Sure. I work there. Hmm. 
You happen to know a man by the name of uh, Simmons? Yeah, I know him all right. He used to work at the rig. Where's he working now? <laughs> no place, I guess. That guy hasn't been able to get a job with anybody since they run him off the lease. Any idea where I could find him? Well, yeah. He hangs around the pool hall down Porterville. If you don't catch him there, you might try the Ray Hotel. Thanks. All right, Paul. Good day. So long. Oh, your uncle just left, Miss Marley. He was in a hurry to get back to Porterville. He said something about having to phone the office. Is he coming back? No. I told him that we would see that you got back to town all right. Thank you. Then I guess I'd better be going. I'll run Miss Barney in, Jim. <laughs> okay, Dave. Your uncle said he'd be at the hotel, Miss Barney. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, send him in. Come in. I'm J.T. Varley. You're Simmons, formerly employed by uh, Dave Warren? Yes, I worked out there. Just what is the trouble between you and Warren? What do you want to know for? Are you a lawyer? No. Warren borrowed some money from me. That's your hard luck. Why my hard luck? Well, I'll tell you. When I get through that wise guy, he won't be able to pay a dime on a hundred. I'll block him on every move he makes. Before I let him bring in that well, I'll make him eat mud. Do you think you could delay his drilling operations for a few weeks? Can I? Say, listen, I can hold that well up for months. If you can do that, Simmons, it might be worth your while. Let me get this straight. I thought you loaned Dave Warren money to bring in the well. That's correct. Then how do you expect to get your dough if he has to shut down? I have every reason to think there's oil there. But if Warren runs out of money before he brings it in... What then? Why, according to our contract, if... Uh, you get everything? Yes. You and me can do some business. Oh. Give me my cut and I'll dump that oil well right in your lap. And you can clean up a fortune. How will you do that? Leave it to me. Why do you care how it's done, as long as I stop his drilling? I must understand my position, Simmons. I can't be implicated in any violence. You won't be. Here's my card. My telephone number is on it in case you want to get me in a hurry. Oh, here. You may need this. You can depend on me for whatever you may want. Thanks.
you like the ride? I liked it very much. A little bit bumpy. <laughs> Oh, you're here, eh? Yes, Mr. Warren was kind enough to drive me in. Well, that's nice of you, Warren. Sorry to rush away like this, but I must get back to the office. It's all right, Mr. Barley. Thank you. Bye, Dave. Bye, Alice. Thank you. Uh, one more case and we're through, Bill. Uh, well, that's
brakes were all right when I drove into the station. When I examined them after the crash, why? They had been tampered with? Absolutely. <laughs> Probably figured on that steep grade doing the trick. Exactly. Well, it's lucky you weren't killed. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were figuring on. Do you suppose Simmons had anything to do with this? Jim, I think Simmons was paid to do it. How do you figure that out? Well, Simmons was in town the other day, drunk, flashing a lot of bills and boasting that he was going to get even with me this time, good and plenty. You may be right, Dave. I know I'm right. Then you know more about this than you're telling him. Where did Simmons get that money? Oh, I'm not sure, Jim. No? But you have an idea who gave it to him. Yes. <sighs> but I must be all wet about it. There's absolutely no reason for him to do a thing like that. I can't believe it. I don't want to believe it. I think I understand, Dave. Boy, if you'd been hurt on top of everything else, we would have been in a mess. That supply house going broke sure put us in a spot. Hmm. I'll say it did. <laughs> if that hadn't happened, we wouldn't need any more dough. Yes, but we do. I'm going to see Varley in the morning. Suppose he refuses to put up any more. I'll get it somewhere. is showing. Gas! Whoopee! <laughs> hey, Jerry! Jerry! Stand by the boilers. Hurry up. We can't take any chances now. Come on. Oh, boy. I wish Dave was here. Come on, fellas. We gotta work fast. She looks like she's gonna make a well. We can't let her get out of control. Come on! Why, hello, Simmons. How are you? Can't kick. Everything's fine with me. Working? No, only saps work. Do you know, Simmons, I wouldn't mind having some dough in that wildcat well of Dave Warren's. Why? What do you know? Well, I heard some fellas talking down at the pool room. And one of them said the well was showing gas. Showing gas? When did you hear that? Just a few minutes ago. Hey, Warren, sure a lucky guy. Well, so long, Simmons. I'll be seeing you later. See if Mr. Varley can speak to him. There's a man by the name of Simmons calling long distance. He says it's important. Oh, yes, I'll talk to him. What's this call on Mr. Varley's phone? Morrison, go down to the broker's office and get that statement. Better wait if it isn't ready. Very well, sir. Hello? Hello, Varley? Yes? What is it? The well is showing gas. We'll have to work fast if you want to stop them now. It is? I'll get down there as soon as I can. I'll be looking for you at the hotel. Is Mr. Varley in? I'll see. Who's calling? Dave Warren. Yes? 
Yes? Oh. Send him in. Well, Warren, this is a surprise. I didn't expect to see you. The same goes for me, Mr. Varley. But something came up and I had to see you immediately. What's the trouble? Well, the fact is, uh, we're in a jam. We've got to have a little more money. You didn't say anything about this when I was down at the well. Uh, we'd hoped at the time that we wouldn't need it. But one of our creditors went bankrupt and we have to make an immediate settlement. On top of that, we had an accident with one of our trucks, which means another delay. Well, that's too bad. I suppose accidents sometimes happen. But this one was different. This one was made to happen. The brakes had been tampered with. Hmm. Any idea who did it? I think it was a man I had some trouble with and fired. Oh, yes, yes. Walker told me about him. Well, I'm very sorry. Doubly so in this case, because I... I can't let you have any further money. Well, but we won't need much, Mr. Varley. It's a matter of business with me. Strictly business. I realize that, Mr. Varley. But I've got to get more money to complete that well. If I can't get it from you, I'll have to get it from someone else. I'm very sorry, but you can't do that. Why not? Have you the copy of our contract with you? Why, yes. And I'd advise you to sit down and read it now. And you learn why. Miss Gray, look up the file on that. Where's Mr. Varley? Why, Mr. Varley has gone. Well, when will he be back? He isn't coming back. Mr. Varley has gone for the day. Oh, he has. I came to see your uncle. He's gone to Porterville. Gone to Porterville? Why, yes. He phoned from the station just a short time ago. Said he was leaving immediately. I thought it was to see you. If he's gone to Porterville, it's not to see me. He has something else in mind. What's worrying you, Dave? There must be something wrong. There is something wrong, Alice. You don't think uncle... I'm sorry, Alice. But there's no doubt about it. But what did he do? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. No, because Uncle would never do anything that wasn't honorable. No? Well, I suppose it was honorable for someone to try to wreck that truck I was driving, to delay work on the well. He'd never do anything like that, and you know it. You might have paid Simmons that drill I fired to do it for him, and that isn't all. While I was reading the contract in your uncle's office, he slipped out. That's why I'm here. And he didn't tell you he was going to Porterville? He did not. But, Dave, he must have had other reasons. Yes, I'm sure he had. I don't believe it. I knew you wouldn't. But if you could be there and see for yourself... That's exactly what I'm going to do. And prove to you how wrong you are. That's all right with me. You didn't get here any too soon. 
You say the well is showing gas? Yes. It might be in right now, for all I know. Listen, I've got a plan. Now wait, Simmons. We waited too long now. You've gone too far already. What? You exceeded your instructions when you tried to kill Warren. You wanted him stopped, didn't you? If he had been killed, I might have spent the rest of my life in prison. But if he stopped, you could collect a cool million or two. There are times, Simmons, when money is not so important. When you're dead, maybe. Or well, when you betray the trust. Yeah. Or when you've got your cut coming, just by sitting tight. I'm not thinking of the money. Not much. You're just pulling your bets from a long shot to a sure thing. You'd rather play safe and take a third than gamble a little nerve against the whole pot. You must be mad, Dave. Driving at this rate, we'll be lucky if we ever get there. No, Simmons. I tell you, no. It's a matter of principle. You wanted the well. I said I'd fix it so you'd get it. When you wrecked that truck, you might have killed Warren. And I told you definitely there must be no violence. So you've got cold feet. What are you scared of? I'm taking all the risks. What do you mean you ain't going to go through with it? Why not? Oh, I thought it all over, coming down on the train. So you got to change your heart, eh? Where do I come in? How about the door I was going to get and the chance to get even with Dave Warren? I'll pay you what I agreed to. I get some chicken feed and Dave Warren makes a fortune. Well, he earned it. Here. Here's the balance of the money I promised you, Simmons. Well, I guess that's proof enough even for you, Alice. What is the meaning of this? I'll explain later, Alice. You better explain right now, Mr. Farley, if you can explain. Oh, no, you don't, Simmons. You're not leaving here until I say so. <laughs> when I get through with that well, none of you will get anything out of it. Simmons? Yes, Dave. He's going to wreck the well. Wreck the well? Yes.
There she goes, over the top. Oh, my pal. Something else much more important than that. By day one, what could be more important than your will? You. Oh, 